it's early in the program, so we will be reporting on that. But um, we've had two facilitators. Originally, our first facilitator started in November of last year, and Jason just started April 1st. So it, it's a new program, but we do expect to see results, and we will report on those as they are realized. I don't know if you said how much that initiative is costing me in Tinto, but I, I have to believe that there may be some synergistic thing that would benefit Rio Tinto and benefit um, the ability for people to uh, create businesses by improving communication, IT infrastructure. Despite the fact that President Obama came to Marquette and said, we've saved the Upper Peninsula of Michigan with advances in IT infrastructure, when you get five feet out of Marquette, as I think you probably know, that 4G and there is no 5G and all that cell phone coverage and stuff isn't very good. As a matter of fact, it's better in the far-flung Arctic communities than it is here. But the Arctic communities, Northwest uh, 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 North Slope Borough, it's $220 million a year in taxation of onshore oil and gas infrastructure. I know you can't be expected to pay that kind of money. You wouldn't make any money on this project. But if, so if you, you could make a decision that at the mine, at Humboldt, at these resort, uh, 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 exploration projects, um, the other tenants that uh, are out there, that it would benefit you to increase that uh, communication, IT infrastructure, then I think you could say, we've given some of these people so they can make money. We, we've brought them into the modern world with respect to IT communication. 